Hi, welcome back to Meta Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. Christine yes. Hi, Jeff. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. you got a lovely history here with films. Thank yes. you. And nudity? A little nudity? Yeah, just a smidge. Just a smidge I mean, of nudity? Just a tiny, yeah. Just a yeah. Smidge. It's like a, a slip? Yeah. Yeah. Probably about a sliver. <laughs> they call it like a wardrobe malfunction? Just like that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I found out later that someone said that that Playboy cover sold the most ever. And I'm like, do you know why? And then years later, someone said, well, you know, you're a part of your, um, and that they had never had any nudity on the cover before. And I'm like, oh, that explains it. It wasn't me exactly. It was, you know, that. <laughs> Well, it was, it, it was absolutely, it was wardrobe malfunction. Well, that, that leads me to my next question is, uh, what was the most controversial thing you've ever done? Well, I would say that, you know, being in Alice in Wonderland was kind of controversial. You know, back in the day, I mean, now that type of thing is on HBO, right? But right. back then, and it's really funny because I, um, you know, I was a kid and I signed a contract and they're like, oh, we're going to do whoa, this. And I'm like, I see you again. Ew, wow. gross. No, I don't, you know, ew. And, but you, you don't realize that when you're young, you sign a contract and you, they can make it look like it's like, you know, they came out with the triple X version and I'm like, this is the Was I in this movie? Yeah. But it, the last, I did the Hollywood show, like this is my second show, and I sound like a California, like, okay. Uh, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Totally. Um, but someone came up and said, I have to ask you, was that you in the last scene of Alice? And I'm like, uh, what? So that answered the question. So when you did Meatballs, did you have any idea that it would be the huge success that it was? No. Did you it? No, none of us did. I mean, it was it was it was a terrific film. It was so much fun, and Bill Murray is actually just like that in person. That's what I figured. Yeah, that I he, assume. he seriously played himself. Yeah. And uh, someone said that it did not do well that year or wasn't rated. And I think if you think about it, many many films that are you know are panned by the critics end up being cult classics, which yeah. has become right. Well, it's funny as I said. You said my son like just a few minutes ago said to you, "I like your movie. It's really funny." And that's actually the first thing he said to anybody. All day, so, so he, he, I mean, he really enjoyed it. it and I've always had fun uh, showing him all these classics. Like, you know, don't worry about the movies that are coming out now. Look at some of these old ones, and he's gotten schooled on all these like classic movies. Yeah, great '80s comedies, right? Now, um, on a serious note, what's the strangest thing you've ever seen on a farm? On a farm. I, not only did I grow up on a farm, you did? but I raised my boys on a farm, a thoroughbred farm. Wow. So the strangest thing I would say I've seen in a farm, I delivered a foal once, is that? Uh, it's strange. I, I don't know, I don't know if it's strange, but it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah growing up, we used to gr uh, raise beef and beef. Was it weird, like, like making friends with a cow, like, hey, Sammy? No, and then, yes, and then no, coming it's out so and funny, because we would sit around the <laughs> table, my sister's behind me, and we would say things like, wow, this is Bessie tastes good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and chickens were like, hey, buddy. And then you like chicken wings. Oh, yeah, whatever. no, I couldn't eat chicken for years because of the smell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you're it's talking about. Because I actually worked at a summer camp. That's how I kind of relate to it. But uh, when I worked in the kitchen in the summer camp, and we would get the chicken in, and these like these wood crates, and they was like they were like sloshy, and it was like the worst smell ever. When, yeah, we, when we heard it coming, we ran the other way. Like, oh, oh the, uh, that's the kitchen. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, right. It's like okay, my father would say it's a, it's a fryer weekend. Yeah. It's like okay, I, I gotta go, Dad. I, you know, I'm not gonna be around for this. No way. Absolutely. Well, I guess the last and the most important question I have for you is: Are you honored to appear on Marvel TV and why? I am so honored to appear as I am now on Marvel TV because he's so awesome. Wow. Thank you. Of course. Aww. <laughs> and thank you for having me. Oh.